Hey guys, it's Marquita. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Marquita. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a quick showcase or flip through of the new recipe cards in mini size for the Happy Planner. You guys know I adore recipe keeping, recipe planner, menu planning, all of that good stuff, cooking, I adore it. And so I thought I would show this to you. I got this as a part of my second squad box, which just came uh, Monday. And so I'm super excited to show this to you. It's gonna be a super quick video. Just wanna show it to you before I use it because <laughs> I'm getting ready to use it. And so let me open it up. Wait, first y'all, I'm getting ahead of myself. If you're new here to my channel, I really do hope that you enjoy it here and that you will consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and turning on the notification bell so that way you don't miss any future videos. So without further ado, now we can get started. Open this baby up so I can show you all the good stuff. If you wanna see that, stay tuned. Okay, y'all. I was just getting a little bit ahead of myself. Y'all know I have a whole, you know, spiel in terms of what I like to say in my videos. So, but I'm so excited about this because I, again, love recipe keeping. And so these are the recipe cards. They are mini. I did get a chance to see these at Squad Bootcamp, guys, but I wasn't sure when they were gonna come out. We weren't allowed to talk about things, but when they showed it to us, I was so excited and I couldn't wait to get them. So hopefully eventually they make these in classic size because I just, I just think they would, why not? Why not make them in classic size? So as you can see here on the front side, at the top it says ingredients. It's got some little fruit there at the top, super cute. It's got a little box here in the middle, which is a peachy color. And then at the bottom it says notes. And then at the corner there it says serves people. And then there's a little box here at the top for you to write in whatever the recipe is. So I'm really, really eager to use these guys. Let's see how the back looks. On the back there at the top, as you can see, it says directions, prep time, cook time. And then it's got a whole bunch of veggies around the border. Super duper cute. Can't wait to use it. You don't have to use it in a mini happy planner either. In my opinion, you can stick these in your classic size planner as well. Um, I do have a full on recipe keeper. Bam. <laughs> Y'all know, this is my recipe keeper. Look at how thick she is, y'all. She is busting out the seams, y'all. So I'm gonna have to figure out another solution or put her on expander discs. That's probably gonna be my solution. And so you could easily literally take these and literally pop them in your weekly spread or uh, just pop them in here. It doesn't have to be a full on recipe card like these are. Uh, these will work as well. Or if you need additional space, you can use them together uh, and you can maybe, you can finagle it y'all. You can even, you know, put a little washi tape right here and fold it in, trim the edges right there and it could work. So I love these. I love the size of them. I, I, I love all things recipe keeping. So it's right up my alley. So this pairs well again with an existing page that you just need further space on or to use as a standalone, uh, especially for your shorter recipes. Because I do have lots of recipes in here where it's just like shorter recipes where you don't necessarily need a full recipe card. I'm exposing my secrets too, y'all. And it's about time for me to do more of these menu planning videos. I used to do them a lot on my channel, but I've slacked off a little bit, y'all. I'm not sure why. And uh, so I need to get back into it. But as you guys can see, I've got a lot of recipes in here and I've got some stuff that I haven't even planned for because again, sometimes I will just uh, do this on the fly. So I'll go ahead and like write everything out and I'll put my picture there, but then I'll fill it out later. And so I'm still working on it. You guys know I'm passing this on to Miss Addison. Um, once I, you know, once she gets of age and maybe has a family of her own, she'll have all of our family recipes in here. So I definitely need to go ahead and, and get those expander discs, y'all, because it's, it's really getting out of control. But, um, but I love this. I love, love, love this. So stay tuned for more recipe keeping videos, videos on my channel, excuse me, um, soon. Trust me, they're coming. All right, so let me just see how this flows. So we've, I think they're all the same. It's just that you've got some different color variations. So there's peach first, and then as you can see, there's yellow. And it does have some differences, as you can see at the top there. Hopefully you can see that. Let me zoom you in a little more. So as you can see, it's got some different veggies at the top and on the back probably as well. Yep, so cute. I love these, y'all. So let me flip it on over to all of this stuff just makes me so inspired to just create. So I love how they come out with all this, all this stuff, y'all. 
So I'm just trying to show you all of the variations because there are subtle variations, but for the most part, everything is pretty standard. So this one's green, and as you can see, it's got like breakfast vibe at the top. And uh, so it's a little bit different. And then on the back, it's got, you know, more breakfast vibe stuff. So I love how they changed or made little subtle changes to each. And so let's see what's next up. And then we've got that teal color and that looks like more of the dessert side of things. So cute. And there's the back. Yeah, I love this. And then it looks like there probably is one more set. Yep, which is like a, a light pink color. So that's really, really cute. And that just has some fruit there. And on the bot, well, nothing on the bottom, but that standard, same standard stuff. Y'all, this is so cute. And I said it in my last video, y'all, and I hope that really translated even more so on this video. But I changed some settings with my camera and my lighting and things. I still use that same new camera and new lens that I got recently that my husband got me the camera and then I bought myself that Sigma lens. But I felt like some of my videos were too bright. You couldn't see the words on my page and it was just wonky and it just didn't work out right. So I tweaked some settings. So let me know in the comments below if you guys notice a change. Like look at a video from maybe like a month ago and then look at today's video and let me know or some of my recent videos within like the past week or two. Let me know if you see a difference. Um, I would love to hear your feedback. So that's it for this, guys. Super cute. Can't wait to use it. You guys stay tuned for lots of meal, more meal planning videos and recipe keeping videos to come because I'm so excited to use this. Again, uh, how I typically meal plan is uh, in my classic size planner, I have a section in the new home management expansion pack for meal planning. I take a recipe card, pop it in there. A few of them uh, either filled out. If they're filled out, that's what we're cooking for that week. If they're not filled out, then I'm going to fill them out if I need to or just keep kind of keep them on hand. Just if I'm feeling creative, I can sit down and uh, create something on the fly. Um, but typically I will store them in there, uh, three recipes, cause you guys know I cook three times a week. I'll just keep them in that section. And when I get ready to cook, everything is in my planner. So that's typically how I use this. And again, uh, passing this on to Miss Addison. So I'm excited about that as well. That way she'll have all of our family favorites. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. This was an exciting video for me only because you guys know how I feel about recipe keeping and meal planning, even though it's a pretty short video, it's like my fave because I just adore this part of planning. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate you stopping by and hopefully you will consider subscribing to my channel if you are new here and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know guys below about the lighting situation and the camera quality, how you feel about it, if you notice a difference. Also let me know what is your favorite part of planning? Do you guys enjoy menu planning and recipe planning? How do you feel about it? Let me know below. I would love to hear from you. So thank you again for stopping back by my channel. If you're new here, hopefully you will consider subscribing and hopefully you guys enjoyed it so much so that you will catch me on another video, in which case I'll see you then.